All right, so we're we're almost ready to roll with this, but uh, I want to take a little bit more time to make this look a little better, and uh, then we'll get on to making it work. So I want to introduce another part of Bootstrap, which are the components. So let's hop over to getbootstrap.com and click on components. Now there's a lot of cool stuff in here. What we're going to focus on right now are panels, which are way down here at the bottom. And we're going to create a panel with a heading. And this will give us a nice looking uh, login form. So let's take a look at the structure of this really quick. We've got the outside div here, which we need to set it to panel so that it knows it's a panel. And that's going to give it the you know, rounded corners and things like that. And then panel default, which you remember from our buttons, and this will determine the coloring. So if we scroll down a little bit here, you can see some of the uh, options here. So default is the gray, and then primary would be this blue here, uh, and so on. And uh, just to change things up a little bit, let's go ahead and we'll use the info panel. I like that color. So I'll scroll back up here. So we're going to want panel, then panel dash info. So let's do that. Top over to Aptana. And inside of our column here. And uh, actually, really quick, let's just go ahead and do some commenting. So down here, this is going to be for the column. Let's do end call. And you could be a little more descriptive of that if you wanted to. Um, but it at least lets you know that this div ending here belongs to this up here. And so same down here. Let's do end row. And then down here, end container. And we'll start doing this actually uh, throughout the site a little more often because it's going to come in handy once we start putting more components in here. So again, back to what we were doing. Underneath the column here, let's do a div. We need a class, and we need to tell it it's going to be a panel. Then we need to tell it what style to give it. So panel dash info is what we're going to use. Go ahead and close that. Now we want this to wrap around the entire form. So cut out that closing div. Come down here to the end of the form and paste that. And let's go ahead and comment it. So end panel. And do that. And we'll go ahead and tab out the form, which the form is probably going to get tabbed out a couple more times. So let's go back and look at getbootstrap.com. So we want a panel with a heading. If you don't want the heading, you can just do a simple little panel, which basically gives you a, a uh, outline with a rounded corner and a little bit of padding. Uh, but we want the uh, header here too. So we need a div with the class panel-heading. So right here above the form, div, and then class, panel, heading. And then this is where our login can go. So let's go ahead and hit enter and take this h1 tag here. Cut that out and we'll paste it inside the panel heading. So there's that. Now the last component we need is the panel body. And our form is going to rest inside that. As you can see here. So we just need one more div that's going to be after the panel heading, but before the form starts, because we're going to wrap the f we're going to wrap it uh, around the form. So div class panel dash body. Close that, and then cut that closing div, and then come down here to the end of the form. Hit paste, and we'll go ahead and comment and. Panel body. And we'll go ahead and do that again up here too, even though this is pretty obvious, but just for consistency. And panel heading. So 
now we'll go ahead and save this. Um, actually, let's tab the format one. Save. Back to our page. Hit refresh. And there you go. Now I don't like it being this big, so let's change our heading to a heading level. We'll try three. Save that. Refresh. And even that's kind of big. Let's actually take the uh, heading tag out and see what that looks like. Save that. Refresh. There you go. I like that better. Um, could probably be bold. So we can go ahead and put a, a strong tag around that. And uh, I'm going to cut that and paste in between the strong tags. Save that. Refresh. There we go. Now we could definitely do a little more formatting. Um, but uh, for now, we'll, we'll leave it as is so we can get into uh, making the form work.